often we like to add flaps um, to an airfoil to increase the lift and it's useful um, for landing or and takeoff when the speed of the airplane cannot um, support um, the, the, the weight in the typical flight configuration. And to see how this would work, we're using Hanley Innovations multi-element airfoils. And uh, we can add a flap simply by clicking on the airfoil editor screen. We can select the airfoil that we wish to use. In this case, we select a NACA 0012 airfoil. We center the airfoil on the screen by um, selecting the zero, 0, X and Y coordinates. And uh, we can zoom the airfoil so that it appears um, a little bit larger in the screen. Uh, we can look at the flow at, say, uh, 5 degrees angle of attack and uh, 100 miles an hour. And um, we can graph what the pressure coefficient is going to look what, like on the surface of the airfoil um, in that um, situation. The program also allows us to um, look at the flow field pressure and it would, can either plot um, lines or it can do a paint of the, of the various um, pressures at different locations in the flow field. Red indicates high pressure and um, um, blue indicates um, low pressure. Now we want to see what is going to happen when we add a flap and usually uh, a good flap to to investigate is a fowler or slotted flap at the trailing edge of the airfoil. For the flap we select the, um, the same airfoil shape as the main airfoil and which again it was the Danker 0012 but this time we make it smaller uh, uh, 25 percent of the main airfoil cord or uh, uh, about 0.25 meters. We want to rotate the flap um, at about 15 degrees and we uh, see the configuration on the screen. We can move the flap around in this program we can bring it closer to the airfoil and then we can do a quick analysis and see what the um, flow on the um, um, we can see the results um, as far as the um, total lift and we can look at the lift coefficient with the flap we can also look at the um, pressure coefficient as before and we can see that with the addition of the flap we have a different looking uh, pressure coefficient um, than the um, than just the isolated airfoil, which which is the top one. Um, sometimes we think a flap simply increases the lift by um, adding more surface area or more cord. But as you can see, um, that that from the program or from the analysis, that we can move the flap to a different location without even changing its size, and we can see that um, it makes a big difference on the lift and it makes uh, uh, a big difference on the distributed pressure uh, and so the correct way to optimize a flap is, 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 is by testing and design such that you have the flap at its at, at an at, at an optimal angle for your purposes and um, an optimal spacing um, for um, between the flap and the and, and the main wing, uh, we can look again. We can see what the pressure coefficients can is, is doing in the flow field closer to the flap um, by zooming in with um, multi-element airfoils, and we're going to get a new plot of the pressure coefficients in the vicinity of the flap. We can add um, streamlines and see what the streamlines are doing there in that location. We can add a particle and see how the, um, the flow is behaving. We can also, if we are interested in uh, the values of the airfoil at any location, we can probe the airfoil and what is going to pop up 
is um, the, uh, the location of the probe plus the velocities, the pressure coefficients at that particular point. This is a presentation by um, Dr. Patrick Hanley from Hanley Innovations.